According to DHEC, both infant and maternal mortality rates in the state are on the rise. Infant deaths increased 12% from 2020 to 2021. Black babies are also dying at nearly 2.5 times the rate of white babies. The $2 million federal grant awarded to family health centers in Orangeburg aims to help address the disparity. We are in a rural environment. If we would in Charleston, the maternal health wouldn't wouldn't be that bad because female would be able to get to the doctor and and receive prenatal care at the appropriate time. The money will be used to improve maternal health outcomes and reduce disparities for high risk patients by expanding its team of OBGYNs. They will add three additional employees, including two OB doctors and one midwife to serve women who are deemed high risk for maternal mortality due to race, socioeconomic or health status. There are twice as many women in this area that actually need uh, OB service, uh, women health care in the service area. We know that women are the largest population in our service area. The collaboration with the Low Country Healthy Start program and the Orangeburg Area Sickle Cell Foundation will provide telehealth services as well to eliminate transportation barriers for patients. For Street Squad Orangeburg, Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX. A new report tonight shows South Carolina ranking 37th in the country in overall health system performance last year. The highest ranked states were Massachusetts, Hawaii, and New Hampshire. The lowest performing states, Oklahoma, West Virginia, and Mississippi. However, every state is facing historically high rates of premature deaths. The nation's average life expectancy was also lower than in previous years. Now, the numbers are all coming from the Commonwealth Health Report. They compare each state's health system services, then ranks them based on factors like cost of services, health disparities, and health outcomes. This year's report also highlighted avoidable and premature deaths.